I'm starting to get a lot of shit from people and it's it sucks uh, people are starting or some people are starting to become disappointed with my videos because I called the bubble uh, or the top too soon and I've been making too many videos um, um, warning for a correction and, and, and even though we had a few corrections it, it always recovered to new highs so I was wrong and 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 I I I'm, I think some of these people have sold following a piece or maybe all um, inspired by my videos and um, you know are feeling angry now <clears throat> and, uh, and 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 it's true that I've been too uh, careful and that I have uh, feared myself uh, several times uh, for a correction. First, for of altcoins correcting versus Bitcoin, I've been. That was my first bearish video. Um, that's already two three months back, um, when when Bitcoin dropped from eighty percent market dominance to sixty. I started to to think that that uh, and I made a video also that altcoins may pop or may correct versus Bitcoin. And, and it hasn't happened at all. Um, today, the Bitcoin market dominance is 40%, 38%. So it has continued to drop and altcoins have continued to rise versus Bitcoin. So, so, so th that's true. So I was wrong. And, um, and, and that's possible that I'm wrong from time to time. I am. What I said at the time was that if history repeats, and that's the most likely scenario, then Bitcoin will gain, again, market dominance around 60, 60%, 55%. That was the normal drop that has happened before too, uh, several times where it loses 10-20% market dominance and then it recovers half of that. And so that's why I made the video then and, and that's why I said probabilities were higher for Bitcoin to go up versus altcoins than for altcoins to continue to go up versus Bitcoin. And that was true, even though it didn't happen, it was true. Um, and I always leave uh, probabilities, it's a probability. And so that means that even though odds were higher for Bitcoin to go up versus Bitcoin, there were still odds for altcoins to continue to go up versus Bitcoin. And I have uh, always stated that Bitcoin has serious problems. And, and that I personally am not uh, invested in Bitcoin or very, li very little. Uh, and so, and that has continued to be, be the case and, and, and up until today was the right decision. Um, but since then I've made several other videos calling the top, not just from altcoins versus Bitcoin, but also from uh, just for the whole crypto market um, and the most notable one was of course the recent ones that I made the, made the past few weeks where I um, said that I'm uh, selling the rebound uh, and when it crashed from uh, 2800 to $2,900 then and then it recovered back and, and, and I really thought that that, that 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 odds had increased a lot that 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 was the end for the bear market because altcoins also dropped a lot versus bitcoin in that crash and that was the first time that that happened and that's typical for a bear market so 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 i thought that was i like the odds were very high like 60 percent i thought that yeah it's over and only 40 percent chance that it continues to go up and um, and I decided to really like s to sell a lot. Then I sold. I was at sixty. Wait, uh, I was at uh, thirty percent uh, fiat or so, and so seventy percent crypto. And I scaled that up to fifty-two percent uh, when it was all fully executed. So so that's that's all. That was a huge sell off for me of uh, of, of altcoins because I don't have Bitcoin. Eh? So. Um, and so I sold my last NXT and Ardor, I also, also sold my last Clams, and I even sold some of my favorite cryptos a piece. Eh? Uh, I sold about 20% or so, maybe 10-20% of my Zcash and of my Byteball, and also I sold a, 
a bigger piece of my my um, my um, blue magic portfolio uh, and and so if I look back at those actions today that was of course not a profitable move because since then all these coins have doubled in Bitcoin value um, and since Bitcoin has also continued to go up to was two thousand three hundred dollars when I did those sales but today Bitcoin is two thousand six hundred dollars so not only did all these altcoins double versus Bitcoin or about double but Bitcoin in the meantime went up too so all the sales I've done if I wouldn't have done them they would have more than doubled two three weeks later eh? and so I was at 52% fiat when I did that rebalancing and today because my my altcoins and my crypto portfolio has gone up again I'm only at 42% so I'm I'm again at about 58% crypto now and only 42% fiat and part of me is also like not happy about that eh? um, and, and, and wish that I wouldn't have done those sales especially NXT order is difficult because I've been sitting on that so long uh, and, and, and basically I sold out too soon, Wait, I, because NXT order has just gone up so much the past two weeks. Since my sale it has doubled in, more than doubled in Bitcoin value. So that's of course frustrating. Um, but yeah, I, and I admire some people that like haven't done that and, and that just believed and have continued to believe in this bull market and have just hold on to their cryptocurrencies uh, Frank is of course a very notable example at Blue Magic um, the Blue Magic uh, uh, Capital uh, website where he posts weekly reports and he has always remained bullish and 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 and, and, and in his actions too I always remained invested fully in, in these cryptocurrencies and that has been way more profitable than my strategy to to scale out uh, of crypto um so i admire that greatly and and well you know I, i'm just not uh, as good as that uh that's just how it is uh, you know i'm not that great of an investor uh, so, so I really recommend that uh, you follow someone like Frank. I think that's a much better idea than following me. Um, and there are many other examples of investors that have done much better. Louis Thomas, for example, has continued to be bullish on Ethereum, and 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 he was right. So, 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 I, I this my YouTube channel is is a place where I share what I do and it's very helpful for me uh, because I get valuable feedback from some of you people uh, and that's really important but it also helps me to make better decisions because when I share my stuff I want it also to be more like I take more responsibility over what I say and do too so it's it, it, it does help me but it's hard to get shit over me um, uh, right now uh, because I have been too careful so that's difficult um, but yeah um, people ask um, yeah it, it, it is my opinion and, and I'm really sorry to uh, to repeat myself so much uh, but uh, it is my opinion that uh, yeah we are in a bubble uh, and meaning that prices will be considerably lower sometime in the future and um, and 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 another thing that really convinces me of this is is looking at my own returns and and, and I mean I come from the traditional investment world and if you re achieve 20% per year on average then you're a top investor. You are doing better than the top investors in the world, being Warren Buffett or Mark Faber or Huge Andre of or the top hedge funds um, in the world. They they will achieve at best 20% per year. And my returns are a lot higher than that. Um, and I'm a 
I'm so happy. I really succeeded as an investor. This is the target I set myself to to become a very a successful investor and to have 20% per year. And I overshot that really well. So I am very happy. But at the same time, that really concerns me a lot because I know from the past that I, I've, I've, when I was a younger investor, I would become, when I have such amazing returns, I, w I didn't do the right things. Um, I became like uh, a little cocky uh, and um, just, I, I was scared to sell actually um, uh, because, yeah, and, um, and, and, and I've lost so much in crypto. I, I won a lot, but I've lost two times almost everything I had made first in, in, in the after the first bubble in 2013 I did very well because I invested in Bitcoin early on when it was 10 it went to 255 correct 250 but on the way up to 255 yeah I made wow I did very well but then on the correction to 50 I lost a lot and 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 and, and to such an extent that I really cried because I couldn't understand how that was possible um, that that I fucked it up so so badly, and, and and the same happened again after the second bubble in 2013 when it went from 100 dollars to thousand, and then corrected to 160 uh, over the course of a year. Uh, well, after and then I invested a lot in NXT, and well, after two years, I basically had lost so much that I was almost I did I hadn't earned anything except for keeping my capital. And having 5% of the inflation. Yes, I had preserved my capital, but I hadn't made any profits. After the bear market was fully, uh, had fully shown himself. And, 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 and the reason why that happened was that I didn't sell that much on the top. And I started buying back too soon. And then the bear market, bear market continues and... Uh, and my losses become a lot bigger because I've been buying on the way down. Eh? So, so I really don't want this to happen again. <clears throat> and so that's why I am much more careful now and I'm not partying that much, uh, even though my returns have been amazing. Uh, I'm really focused on, on, on being careful and locking in value. And, and 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 you can say looking in profits, yeah. But later on, the market goes up more. It's it's not looking in profits anymore because you could have more profit. But I'm just looking in value, and it means that yes, if the if crypto continues to go up, that value could have gone up too, but it doesn't. And if crypto goes down, well, I, I still have locked up the value too, and it is not going down. So <laughs> I'm really focused on that because I finally succeeded as an investor after, well. I started investing, really like sharing my results in 2009, but I start counting for myself since 2008. Uh, and I always look at how much capital I had then before the financial crisis and how much I have now, what are my average returns. And, and um, well, that's a long time ago now, uh, 2007, that's almost 10 years. So at the end of this year, in half a year, I will have a track record of 10 years and I want that to be good huh? and I don't want again to see so much of my profits evaporate um, so I understand the frustration uh, and, 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 and of, of some people uh, about my videos and I hope you can see continue to see that I am never black and white my portfolio is always like betting on both scenarios. I still have right now 55% is betting on an increase on it to continue to go up. Uh, but indeed, I, will, I start to bet more and more on it to start falling. And that's now 45%. And, and I hope that it continues to go up so that I can lock in more profits. So the next time I'm, I'm, I'm going to balance, I, I, I hope that uh, I can do that when um, Bitcoin breaches $3,000 and is at 
200 or so, 2300. And when the, the, the market capitalization of all coins together is not at 110 now, but at hopefully 150 or so. And, and then I plan to balance again and very strongly. Meaning last time I balanced to 52% fiat. And then I hope to be able to balance to 70% fiat or so. Uh, and, and I will have to sell my favorite cryptos then because I sold all my NXT Ardor and Clams in the last correction. Uh, and so I don't have any coins left anymore that I want to get rid of in this bubble. The coins I still have I want to keep for the long term. But I really am going to make a big effort I, to sell my darlings then. And I really hope we can get there eh? because that's not certain. Uh, but um, so I, I hope to sell half of my Zcash then, half of my um, Byte Ball, and, and hopefully, uh, and and half of my Blue Magic portfolio. Uh, so, uh, but at the same time, I mean, if we go down from here, I don't have to feel too bad about thinking how much money I once had, and then seeing how much money. I have left at the end of the bear market. No, because this time I did cash out more than in previous bubbles, percentage-wise. I never, I never balanced to a majority of fiat. Um, and if the, it starts now, at I'm at about yeah, 45% fiat, 55% crypto. Uh, it's not perfect. Far from it. It's, it's not not. It's still a problem uh, that I would lose. A hey, such a big part of my portfolio if the bear market starts uh, but um, well compared to previous bubbles um, I think uh, I only balanced to 35% or 40% fiat and, and never balanced to 52% fiat so 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 I've done better and then this time if the bear market starts I will not be rebuying when it is cut in half because that was really a costly mistake in the past. No, I will only start buying back if it's cut in half and then again in half. And then I will start buying back. And otherwise I just stay out of the market. So those are uh, my plans for the future. If you haven't subscribed yet to my Twitter, please do so. Because I share a lot more there than on my YouTube channel. Bye guys.